What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. Just a quick Monday preview as to what is coming Monday. As you can see here, the databases are updated. We know what we're going to be getting on the 27th of May, which is tomorrow, which is Monday. The Spanish League selection midfielder. So you can see the selection of players there. Perhaps Tony Cruz's final card for his club, um, as you see there. And there's a couple of more guys there. Honestly, this isn't going to be really that good of a selection, I don't think. I think we're not going to get a proper, proper kind of club selection now until the brand new season of eFootball 25. I think it's going to be all attentions turned to eFootball 2025 for that style of uh, cards. But it's all going to be turning the attention to the Euros as well when that kicks off. So we are going to get that there. Um, but it's all about the legends, right? So the, the legends are being, you know, you still have your login bonuses and all that. That's going to be going on. Um, you also have, as well as that, we're going to be continuing to get our Beckenbauer spins and the daily game and all that sort of stuff. You can always log in to get that. Anyway, on the Monday as well, we will be getting the co-op event. Um, that will be gone. That only goes from... As we know now, that only goes from, you know, it, it does be over tomorrow. We also have these, this unlimited event that's going to be gone as well as the rest of the events that you see here. 13 hours left in that uh, in the European clubs. But it's all about the kind of legends that are going to be coming out. That's probably kind of what the rinse and repeat is going to be for a while. Um, so this contract here with the special players, this is going to be your last chance to get these players that you see here, which is David Villa. Van Basten and Paulo Sergio. So uh, the European club attackers are now being replaced with Spanish league midfielders. So we actually do know what cards we're going to be getting, right? These Spanish league midfielders have been updated on the database and it looks like that's what we're going to be getting there. Now we've actually gone into the stats and they are updated on the database, right? From these card packs here. David Villa, Van Basten and Paulo Sergio are going to be replaced with these boys here. So Andres Iniesta is going to be getting a big time booster here. Um, Iniesta, he definitely looks good. Obviously, we'll get the, you know, the, the real levels on him here. He's going to have more levels than that. He's down as a creative, uh, or sorry, he's down as a whole player. Kak is down as a creative. We'll get to him in a second. But even from his levels here, man, without the booster, you're going to have really nice low pass. Um, you're going to have the dexterity that's going to be able to get quite high with the boosters. And of course, you're going to also be able to have a bit of speed. Or if you want a bit of shooting, you'll be able to get a really nice hole playing midfielder. I think that's kind of where the gameplay has gone at the moment. I've been a big fan of the hole players um, for, you know, for months and months and months. And I definitely think that this Iniesta card is going to be, I think it's definitely going to be a good card. It just depends on where you value the cards, you know, from now. We also have Wesley Schneider. So he's actually going to be down as a hole player as well in the database. Now he's got 34 levels here. I don't know will he have 34 levels when he's when he comes out. Obviously, he's going to be a very unique card that has a lot in it. I'm going to do a video on the low pass leads. A lot of people asking me about low pass and about kick and power. And I'm going to clear up a couple of bits and pieces on that as to whether kick and power and low pass or player skills are more important for passing. Because I know a lot of you guys, including myself, are really struggling with the passing at the moment. I mean, it just seems to be very polarizing where the passing is at the moment. But yeah, you're going to be getting a really nice card here. And even surprisingly, he's actually going to be like with these stats here. You know, you're going to pretty much get a, a card that's going to have so many 90s, you know, and a very unique uh, lofted pass, low pass type possession. Very unique card. Even the acceleration, balance, and offensive awareness, depending on the booster that he gets, is going to be very nice as well. Obviously, stamina and speed, but as a whole player, you don't really need it. But I think the big one is going to be a Kaka. So Kaka is down not as a whole player. A lot of people were expecting this to be the final version of Kaka or the best booster pack. He's down as a creative playmaker here, right? Now, there's a couple of issues that I have with this card, but I definitely do feel that Kaka will be a solid, solid choice. Um, Shooting-wise, I mean, even if you go to 85 with them, two stats there, straight off the rip, taking no boosters into consideration. You've got 85 in all of those. You also have 85 in the acceleration and 85 in the speed. I mean, that is a really nice card straight off the rip with only 27 levels. We know he's going to have more levels than that. And when you start bringing in the boosters there, you would expect that his tight possession, his low pass, his finishing, and his acceleration and speed will all be close enough to the 90s with a couple of extra levels and his booster. And of course, you're going to be getting a plus three with Javi Alonso or Pep to pretty much any stat that's over 85. So straight away, just with Pep putting this guy in here, you're going to have tight possession at 88, low pass at 88, finishing at 88 and speed and acceleration at 88 and 90 and that's without even the player booster so i do feel now at this stage in the game i definitely feel like that eFootball 2025 needs to shake up the core kind of release of these packs because they've started to release showtime packs now again 
with these epics in the big time so we're getting the double dip now as well as the player of the weeks and the other selections but we will be back monday we'll be streaming a little bit we'll be seeing what new cards are there will we spin for kaka let me know in the comments below what you guys are going to do and uh we'll see what the crack is but until then don't forget to subscribe smash that like button hope you guys have enjoyed i've uh, been enjoying the live streams later and we'll see you monday peace